Honorable member? Honorable member, when I'm talking, sit down. I've told you this. Put up your mic. Honorable member, you must not read from documents, no, unless, until you want to make reference. And you don't use mobile device technique. This device is here. Please. You can go ahead. Honorable Please. Speaker, that is exactly what I was doing. I have my talking post that I was referenced to, actually. And I think anybody who speaks, spoke, spoken here and kept word before, we are all using their, 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 their devices. Point of honor. Point See, of honorable of member, you don't argue with people. Point of, of honor. You Point of honor. Honorable member, you should not use your mobile device or any other device. Please. Yes, put it down. I'm talking. Yes. Are you, are you putting me to point of honor? No, I want to... Huh? Yes, that's why I'm talking. Please take time. I will consider you. Honorable member, what I'm trying to clear is you can use your notebook or any other to put your jottings, but don't use these devices, technical devices. Yes. Honorable, uh, Honorable Speaker, point of order 17D has been mis-explained by the Honorable Member of Sabah Sanjal. Members shall not read newspapers, books, letters, or other documents except when making reference to such parts therein as may be directly connected with the business of the assembly and with the permission of the speaker. And I believe the honorable member was making a reference. Honorable member, you are making two different points. The member said he was using a device. You are talking about making reference to newspapers or documents. Please, honorable member, you, you yourself, you are out of order. The member is telling you, the honorable member is making the point of order that the honorable member is using a device. If the honorable member, if you are, if you are quoting from newspapers or looking at your notebook, it's fine. But don't use the device. Please. Can you continue, please? Thank you very much, honorable speaker. Uh, Honorable Minister for Finance and Economic Affairs, I said it in my preamble, uh, I will urge you to go back and resubmit a clear budget that is going to be understandable by National Assembly members before we can bless it. Note, I am not saying that I am against the salary increment, I'm not implying that, but I want a salary increment that has been pronounced by the executive. There was a time salary increment was pronounced by the executive. The executive failed to do this, so that the minister come here to make okay scapegoat to say it's the National Assembly members who did not want your salary uh, uh, increment. That's not the case. We want salary increment, but we want it to affect or impact the lives of citizens of this country. The government lacks, this government, uh, in my opinion, uh, lacks economic wisdom and physical prudence to generate growth in the Gambian economy. Now, your main concentration should be on high inflation, especially with regards to food prices. Now, back of rice in this country is like 1,800 dioceses. This should be your area uh, of concentration. And know, you should also concentrate on high youth employment in this country. How do we save our economy? We must also generate employment. We must create employment for our youths. The collapsing agricultural sector, uh, other honorable members have said here before, the price of fertilizer is not acceptable, and the Agriculture Committee has deliberated on this on several occasions. These are some of the issues that this government should concentrate on, not uh, any other thing to increase salaries. Probably it might not even be sustainable. Because what I, what I realized is the economy was based on false and unreality projection. The Honorable Minister inherited and also going with the same on false and unreality projection. And this can lead to our economy being, being, being crashed. So this is something that I will, I will urge the Honorable Minister and the Minister of Finance to put into consideration very seriously. Now, if you go to the budget for the National Audit Office, the National Audit Office will face serious efficiency and operational challenges with the serious cuts in, the, in, 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 their, in, their, in their revenue. Now, for instance, you look at training cut by 1,550,000,000.